Hey, I'm Robin and this is BitBirdie, where I'll be showing you updates on my Godot engine game. Let's get right into devlog number 5. So I drew up a few environments for the player to have battles in. Uh, I kind of wanted there to be four different biomes with different enemies. So this is like a grasslands forest type biome. This one could either be a beach or desert, I'm not sure yet. A snow one, and I haven't thought of a fourth one yet. I was thinking maybe like a volcano lava themed one, but not sure. So I know the basics of color theory, but I still wasn't sure how to just come up with colors that matched my player's color palette. So I used this website I found called coolors.co, um, where I could input my player's colors, lock them, and then press the space bar to find a bunch of random color palettes that would work. Now that I have a background, I could also create a camera to follow the character's movements. How I did this was I added a camera 2D node underneath the player scene, checked on current to make sure that the camera is actually being used, and enabled smoothing, 5 was default, and that's literally it. The next step was shooting bullets. The way I wanted the shooting to work was not to shoot every time I clicked the mouse button because that would be too fast. I basically wanted it to shoot at a constant interval when the mouse button was held down. So the way I did that was I have this shoot timer and when you press the shoot action, which I've mapped to the left mouse button or the right trigger on a gamepad, it will actually just start this timer. And then when the timer times out, it will shoot. When you shoot, it will get a bullet from the bullet pool, um, set the position to the gun's muzzle and launch the bullet. So my bullet pool is an object pool of bullets. Basically, instead of having to create and destroy bullets every time you shoot and every time it hits something, you create a bunch of bullets up front and then just kind of recycle them. This is way better for performance than creating and destroying them all the time. My bullet class is pretty straightforward right now. When you shoot, it becomes visible and it will basically just keep going in the direction that you shot it at. The bullet itself is an Area 2D and the body entered signal of the Area 2D is hooked up to this method here. It checks to see if the body entered is collision layer 1, which I have it set as walls. And if it is, stop and recycle the bullet. This is actually the first devlog in video format. If you want to check out the first four devlogs, they're on my blog at bitbirdie.dev. If you want to keep up with the progress on my game, make sure to subscribe and maybe even give it a like if you're feeling nice today. See you next time.